Hey everybody, Ben Rod here, just uh, talking about my inline weighted spinners and how to fish them, where to fish them and that. So people always ask, you know, where, where are the spinners good for? Where would I fish them? And you know what? You can fish these things almost anywhere. You can fish them in lakes for trout, for bull trout, for uh, all kinds of fish in lakes, any type of trout, um, salmon in a lake even. Um, you can fish them in the ocean. And shallow. Anytime the fish are fairly shallow, so you're not going to get them down 100 feet, but if they're up on kelp beds or they're feeding on bait at the surface, coho, you can cast spinners, no problem to catch them. They work great. Uh, you can fish uh, off the beaches along the ocean. Um, lots of guys do that. Um, spinners are great for that. They can cast, these bent rod spinners, you can whip these things super far. It's one of the greatest things about these spinners. You can really whip them far and they have real good thump to the blade. Uh, great for beach fishing. You can fish them in flowing rivers. And uh, when you fish them in flowing rivers, it's a little different technique. Um, it's more of a cast up and let it kind of go downstream and you just spin the blade enough to keep it spinning as it goes as it works around um, you know I'd use this setup here more for my river my fast flowing river system for steelhead salmon and then you can also fish them in sloughs and backwaters of rivers like here we are in a big river and this is a backwater a lot of times coho will get in these backwaters and you know casting spinners is probably one of the number one ways to get them um, now I'll, I'll get on to the gear now. So the gear for, if you were going to fish, say, the Chilliwack River or any other faster flowing river for, say, steelhead, I think the best choice is a, is a level wind reel with a decent decent sized rod, a bit longer when you're fishing those flowing waters. Um, this rod here, this is the beautiful uh, Lama Glass SI. This one here was one of the first models they ever made, so it has no writing on it, so I don't know the exact specs. I believe it is 10 feet long. And 8 to 15 pound rated and these rods are super strong and uh, yeah that's a perfect size setup for fishing for steelhead in the flowing rivers or even salmon if you wanted to fish uh, coho salmon or chinook salmon in the Vetter River where there's quite a bit of flow that's the kind of style I would go with however that being said you can also fish in those rivers with the old spinning reel and um, this is actually I love the spinning reel setup um, it's very simplistic. You can switch hands with it. Um, cast like a dream. Has good re gear ratio for retrieving. Um, a lot of times when you're spinner fishing, the spinning reel is the best. It's, hence the name spinning reel. So um, yeah, that's a really good option. Whenever I'm fishing out of the boat with clients and for coho out of the boat, usually choose the spinning reel. Many reasons. A lot of times distance casting. You can we use 20 pound braided Power Pro line on here. Number five spinner, I can bomb that thing super far, that spinner. And in fact, I'll actually do a cast for you here to show you. So all I got on here is I have the braided line straight to the spinner, number five spinner. Got the spinning reel. Got this beautiful lama glass rod. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of my boat rods will be one piece rods because if you if you don't have to put it in and out of the car, no point having two pieces because that's where they always break, right where they join. So. This one here is an XLS 763S, 7 foot 6 long, 6 to 15 pound rated. This is a perfect coho salmon rod, or pink salmon. And in fact, these ones here land lots of Chinooks every fall. So I'll, so I'll just give you a demo cast. So you just flip the bale and watch how far this thing goes. Right by that beach over there. Now there's no coho in the system right now, so I probably won't catch one. If I get lucky, I might catch a cutthroat, but... reeling in with these spinners, these bent rod spinners, you can feel the thump really good. You can really feel what the spinner spinner's doing. And one of the great things about the number five size spinner is it's able to get down quite quick. A lot of times this water here is 10 feet deep and uh, a lot of the other brand spinners you buy in the stores, unfortunately, they tend to work best in that three to five foot depth. And they kind of fail when it gets into deeper water because they're just the blade's too big, the body's too light. They just want air. So as soon as you start spinning that blade, it's lifting that that spinner up, which is not what you want. You want to be able to get down a bit. A lot of times you'll cast, let it sink, give it one, two, three, and start retrieving.
Now I typically, when I'm fishing my spinners, I typically always use just braided line. No monofilament. I know a lot of people will use a monofilament leader to give it a bit of stretch, but I keep my drag set quite loose, and then you don't have to worry about breaking fish off. You know, you can, t you can always tighten the drag as you're fighting. First big run is no problem. So yeah, I use straight braid because what happens is you cast over, and it happens when you're guiding a lot. You, your client casts whoop, in the tree. So what you're gonna do, if you have a monofilament leader and you try to pull back and break and get your spinner back, it breaks the leader, lose your whole spinner. Five dollar, four dollar, four to five dollar spinner, gone. So with my system, what I do is with the braid tightly directly to, to it and it being so strong, your client whips it in the tree, you say, oh, I'll get that. You grab it, tighten up your drag a bit, pull it back and it'll actually straighten the hook. And then, boop, you get your spinner back, you take it, you take the hook off, it has a split ring there. Take the hook off, get one of your bent rods, sickle replacement hooks, put it on there, crimp it back down, you're back in business. Doesn't cost you a button, but maybe 25, 30 cents. So that's a real good trick to use. Um, here we got the, my other one with my level wind. So this is this this is a quite a bit longer 10 foot rod. I don't really like fishing these out of a boat for co and stuff because the rods are too long. You don't need that length. But this is a perfect for fishing off the bank of a river. But anyhow, I'll have a cast with it here. As you can see, I got this nice Shimano Corrado low profile reel. Beautiful for spinners. When you're using these level winds, you got to reel a bit harder because uh, the gear ratio isn't as much as on the uh, spinning reel. Feel that number five spinner getting right down. Actually felt it touch the weeds there. Almost made it over to the dock there. Another trick when you're fishing spinners is as you're reeling, you can give it a little snap, just a little snap of the wrist, just to change that spinner up. Give it a change up. You speed up, slow down your retrieve a little bit, speed up, slow down, give it a twitch. A lot of times that'll get the bite. Now another real uh, important one when you're spinner fishing is when fish grab a spinner, a lot of times they, they're chasing it and they grab your spinner and they keep swimming at you with your spinner. So what happens then is you don't feel anything. In fact, with my bent rod spinners here, because the blade has such a strong thump to it, as you're reeling in, you'll feel thump, 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 thump. And as that salmon comes up and grabs that spinner, that thump will stop. It'll actually feel like there's nothing on your line. It'll feel like your line's been cut. And that's the fish has it. And instinctively, if you set the hook right then, you will get fish, so many more fish. Like that's one of the most important bites to learn. And we call that the slack line bite. Ooh, right by the shore there. I can't think of how many fish I missed over the years not knowing how to pick up on the slack line bite. That's why it's important to have a spinner that has a really strong thump to the blade. So if you're interested in picking up any of our inline weighted spinners, just look us up at www.bentrods.ca and uh, give us a call or an email and we'll get you hooked up with the best spinners in the market today.